Hello and welcome to this parrot tutorial. Unlike coloured pencils, I actually go in and block in the colours, a little bit like a painting with this one. So going around the eye, always starting with the eye to give that definition, going in and making sure you're leaving out the catch light, and then going into the darkest parts with the black coloured pencil I'm using the Albrecht Dura pencils and filling in all of the areas that I know that are really black, going in with a cold grey five and just adding in some little lighter areas within the beak. But I do know that I'm going to be adding water to uh, spread this around to blend and so I don't need to worry about graininess in any way, adding some blue to the bottom and yellow to the top, adding a little bit of green to the outer edges, making sure that we've got a darker part around where it kind of blends onto the parrot's face, adding some earth green yellowish in between the yellow and some blues and greys into the top of the bird but at this stage we're just adding those first layers so I'm not really worrying too much about any detail going in with lighter blues along the top and at the bottom of the bird that little kind of ruffly fluffy bit at the bottom and then filling in the gaps just to, that I've got enough pigment down going in with the turquoise to be able to add water and spread all of this around adding a little bit more detail into the beak I want to add pigment to most of this drawing going in with the yellow now just adding a light layer not worrying about the graininess adding a little bit more to the darker areas and some blue underneath going in with a darker blue ultramarine and the uh, darker yellows the chrome yellows to add a little bit more depth to the feathers and a little bit more texture just adding some feather detail into the back of the head with the blues the darker blue the bluish turquoise and the lighter blue. The wing has quite a lot of shadow in it, so I'm just adding some darker blues into that, knowing now that I've completed the whole page, adding colour everywhere so that when I add water, it's going to blend really nicely. You need to have enough pigment down to be able to blend the watercolour pencils, unlike coloured pencils. So going in with the paintbrush now, and you can see it's really making the pigment pop. It's so much fun to be a little bit looser with these pencils. They are a lot softer than the polychromo and so you can't get as much detail in but you can always add some coloured pencils at the end. Going back over for the second layer adding a little bit more detail into the shadows, adding that wing texture, going into the green, darkening up with the earth green yellowish, adding a little bit of darker green around the edge, the shadows into the wings and just going in with some darker colours, the ochres and the warm greys to add a little bit of shadow, darker blue under that bottom section and then I'm just going to blend certain areas there are certain parts that I don't go over with water again because they don't need it but there are a lot of areas that do need to add a little bit more blending going on taking away that rough texture going in with some detail into the beak now with the black the cold grey and some little bits of brown the warm grey too here you can go over dark with these lighter pencils which is fantastic you can't always do easily with coloured pencils just adding a little bit of detail into the beak and you can see the white colour pencil shows up quite nicely. Adding some more greys, adding detail into the rest of the face, darkening up where needs to be darker, adding a little bit of detail and some feather texture. It's going in with the pine green and adding a little bit more of um, that kind of line look. So we're adding a little bit of detail. It's not just blended with the water. Same with the blue and around the top of the face, adding some more black to the eye making sure I don't leave out that catch light and adding a little bit more detail to the face now, darkening up where it needs to be darkened, where it's been kind of blended with the water, going in with the cold grey and adding those details in too. The little lines around the bottom of the face, there's quite a lot of creases and dents going on here, so making sure I'm getting that in, going in with a little bit of warm grey into the eye and then darkening up around the face as well. Going in with some more bluish turquoise, adding a little bit of white for the highlighted parts and adding the feather detail, so some more shadows, thinking that this is going to be my last couple of layers now. So I'm keeping that in mind, just any yellow that goes into the blue and adding a little bit more with the Prussian blue, the ochres and the chrome yellows, making sure the shadows are as dark as they need to be. Going in with a little bit of warm grey or the ochre if need be to darken that up making sure the edges are dark, adding some black to the bottom because it is pretty dark under the chin there. And then we can go in some cold greys and the lovely blues just to add a little bit more depth 
to that area, making sure it's all balanced out and there are some details where it blends into the yellow part of the feathers. Going in with the greys again into the face, adding lots more detail, a little bit of yellow to the eye, darkening up the beak where it needs to be darkened. You can see it just really makes it pop once we start adding the feather texture and the texture to the face. Going in with the chrome green um, opaque, adding some more turquoise to the back of the head just to make these colours pop. Um, these final layers, darkening up the shadows where needs to be darker with the dark blues, the black, the warm grey, adding a little bit more black detail into that section and darkening up underneath as well. Balancing out the colours, going in with some oranges and some browns as well for those shadowed parts. We don't want to leave that section just yellow, so we can add to the shadow and then blend with some water. This is the water brush from Faber-Castell. Really easy, portable and clean. Adding some warm grey to the bottom, a little bit more detail into the feathers, adding a little bit more yellow where the water has blended it away, and the warm grey too. Going in with the ochres, darkening up where the shadow of the wing is, and then we can blend any graininess away with the water. Just working on the wing, adding some more blues. It's kind of been blended away with the water, so a little bit more detail needs to go back in with the darker blues and some feather detail towards the top. Blending with the water, that shadow in the wing, and blending the shadows if there's any graininess here. The white colour pencil, just to, well, watercolour pencil and the cold grey into the blue to create that lovely highlighted feather texture and some browns where the darker blue and the yellow tend to meet. That needs to be a nice transition between the two. Going in at the bottom and darkening up here as well with the black into the shadow where the darkest parts are and under the wing as well. Around the head, making sure that everything's balanced, that the beak is as dark as it needs to be. Going around into that shadow, adding a little bit of yellow to that shadow to make it a little bit more translucent. And some final details to the top of the head, the blue section at the back making sure it's nice and crisp and as vibrant as the rest of it. So it all balances out nicely together, adding a little bit more Prussian blue, some feather detail, some shadow to those feather details and the same to the wing as well. Just transparency on that shadow, a little bit of highlight through the wing, darkening up where it needs to be darkened and balanced and then a little bit of more pigment on top just to add that lovely pop of blue. And you can see the detail here, just zooming in a little bit onto the face, around the eye, and you can see you can still get quite a lot of detail in with the watercolour pencils, just a little bit softer, a little bit looser and a lot more fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.